Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the Emacs Eco Motors. Now I just received these about a week ago and I finally set them up yesterday and took them out flying today. These are the Emacs Low KV, so they're 2306 sized, 1700 KV, so 1700 KV, naked bottoms, and that's about it. They're pretty light, they're really cheap, and I was very curious to see how well they're going to actually perform. And to my surprise, they performed really well. Now, let's talk about some of the characteristics first. Now, Emacs is well known to have the notchiest motors ever, other than Brother Hobby. However, this one is really smooth, so that's something unusual of Emacs. And, um... I kind of like actually because the performance was absolutely there and I really did enjoy these. Now if you needed to remove the bell, they are by a hex driver right there. I think it's a 1.5 millimeter slides here so you can easily remove that. No shitty C-clips so that's really nice right out of the box if you ever break a bell or bend a bell. And I think there's even replacements out uh, considering the price this is a really great deal. So now, how did this perform? Well, I've tested it on a 4S, 5S, and a 6S LiPo. I've also ran 6-inch props and 5-inch props. And we'll get into those just in a bit. Now, for setup here, I'm using the iFlight IXL7. This is a 7-inch frame. And by far, this is the most rigid, stable 7-inch frame uh, I think you could possibly purchase one of them. So for frame, it's the iFlight. For ESC, I'm using 4 one ESC. This is the... T-Motor F55 amp 4-in-1 ESC that was just released. For flight controller, I'm using the Dal RC F722 with dual gyros with the F7 flight controller. It's a beast of a flight controller. And for VTX, I am using the Eoshin TX1200, which was recently tested on the channel with my little uh, immersion RC meter, which performed actually quite remarkable compared to everything else I've gotten. So I don't know how accurate my meter is, but... Even if it's not accurate, this performed the best. So that's why I stuck that on there. For antenna, I'm using this really cheap antenna that Banggood sent me, and it performed really good. I didn't have any issues with it. 200 milliwatts, and I can do everything in plus that I usually do with any other Fox or anything. I don't know the price of this. I'll have everything linked down below. So go ahead and check those out. Those greatly support the channel. Camera, just a regular run cam Swift here. So back to the motors. Uh, I flew this 4S, 5S, and a 6S, and 5-inch and 6-inch props. However, the 6-inch props, we're going to get that. We're not really going to talk about that much because I'm using King Kong props, and those usually disintegrate. So I was taking it easy, and the really old, really brittle, and just shitload of oscillations. Uh, but I, I'll show you the video towards the end if you want to see it. Um, now, for the 5-inch setup, I was able to get around 4 minutes and 30 seconds on a 4S LiPo with this. Cruising, a couple tricks here and there. Um, so in that perspective, it was really good. The really smooth motors, like really smooth motors. They come down cool, and they're really nice in that perspective. The windings aren't the cleanest, but I can't really complain because of the way they performed, and their price point is really spot on. Uh, 5S setup was beautiful. It was like flying... When I was flying this on a 5S LiPo on 5-inch props, it was kind of like flying a 2300 KV2205 motor, uh, possibly even 2306 in a way. So it was in that, it, that's how it felt like to me, just an average 2300 KV motor. So in that perspective, it was really nice. It's really flexible in all the battery ranges. That's, that's something that I really liked. And also the ESC was just handling everything, just beautiful. One battery after the other battery, 6S, 5S, 4S, 6S, 5S, 4S. So in that perspective, it was really good. 6S was a beast. It just, not a super beast. It's, it's nothing too crazy. It's not like running 20, 2700 kV motors. It was really good to fly. It didn't feel like something cheap. You were flying something cheap. That's for sure. It was close to the Hollybro Copus. In reality, these are really good motors. Uh, you're, not pay, you're not getting a Racer Star power motor here. You're actually getting something that feels quite premium, which I am really happy about and not only that they're really efficient there's no noise no play in the bell on any of them which is really nice and i got into a little crash here if you can see that here but um yeah it just it just handled really nicely here um overall this is a really great build i'll have everything linked down below and i'm just gonna leave you guys with the flight footage i'll show you the 4s 5s and the 6s flight and you go ahead and check it out for yourself. Overall, it was a really nice, I had a really nice time with this quadcopter and I'd highly recommend these motors. And for your batteries, if you're wondering what I used, I used the China Hobby Line 5S here. I'll have them linked down below. Now this is really bad, this little design here, because the bees kept coming to this battery like crazy. And uh, yeah, so just, I would recommend you tape that if you're going to an area where there's a lot of bees. For some reason, they're really attracted to this little part right here. So that's the 5S I used. And I used these 6S. This one is really new. I just got it. It's the Infinity 1300 RS4 6S. It was really great. It was actually a lot of fun to fly with that one. 
This one too, the China Hobby Line 3S, uh, 6S LiPos, the cells in them don't drain equally. You'll find two cells less than all the others. Uh, not by much, but it is somewhat noticeable and somewhat, you know, you just take a note of basically. But I forgot how much these cost. And if they're cheap, I mean, it's totally fine. If they're not costing as much as a premium battery, I don't mind. I, have, I actually have six of these. Uh, but I don't mind using them, but just something to take note of here. Not always, just, you know, two out of the six usually do that for me. And um, the Infinity was great. This one's great for 5S. And uh, it's really nice because you can take a bunch of batteries with you and then this is just completely universal and you can enjoy it on every single battery level. Uh, it's not super underpowered on a 4S, which is something uh, really good. It was, it was just a really nice flying quadcopter. And well, I'm gonna leave it at that guys. I'll have a link to everything down below and I'll leave you guys with the footage. Go ahead and check it out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys. Again, I flight five inch on 6S Infinity.
<clears throat> iFlight Emax Eco Motors 5S 5 inch props. iFlight 4S Eco Motors 5 inch props. 